My name is Mr. Gaines, aka the guy that's been like sitting in the back for the last week or so. And we're gonna go over the bell work. Now it says to evaluate the following functions to find a range for the domain one, three, and five. Can anyone tell me another name for f of x? Yes. Right, correct. And what axis is the range associated with? Y axis. So that means the domain is associated with yes. correct. And for the first problem for f of x is equal to three to the x minus one. What are we gonna do first? Yes. Plug in the x value. Plug in the x value. So we want to plug in which one first? The first one. The first one, so one. So we get, we get this and we plug it in, so we want to substitute the x with 1, correct? So you guys got something that looks kind of like that. Now, which step are we going to do next? Yes. The power. The power. So we get 3 to the 0. So it looks kind of like this. And can anyone tell me what 3 to the 0 power is? Yes. 0. 0. Does anyone else get anything different? Yes. 1. You got 1. And can you tell me how you got that? Plug in the cat in. That's perfectly fine. Now, you guys are aware of how you can plug this into the calculator? Mm -hmm. So you know the key below the off button? Mm -hmm. and, OK. All right, cool. So we got f of 1. Now we also have to find f of 3. Now for f of 3, what do we do one time? Are we going to change anything different? Are we going to do the same thing as we did for 1? So I see the same thing we did for 1. We get f of 3 is equal to 1. Yes. To 9, yes, because we get jump ahead, yes squared is equal to 9. And so we're going to repeat the same process for the last problem. And we get f of x is equal to 3 to the what? Fourth power. And 3 to the fourth power is equal to 81. So the range, so what would we classify as the range for f of x is equal to 3 to the x minus 1 power? Which three values would be our part of our range? Yes? Um, y minus 1, 9, and 81, correct. Now, we go on to number 2, we get f of x is equal to 2x squared plus 3. What did, what is the first step you guys did as far as solving the first step, as far as getting the x? Yes? Plug in the 1. So it looked something like this. You substitute the 1 in. And Operation are we going to do first? Yes. So one to the second power. Why are we going to do that first? Yes. Because when it does it, x when it comes first. Yes, exactly. So we get one squared is just one. We get two times one is three, which gives us. Yes. Two plus three. Mm-hmm. And two plus three is equal to five. Five. So everyone got five for f of one in the second problem, correct? Yes. Okay. Now, f of three. Let's see. We're going to plug it in. And what did you guys get after this step? Yes. Nine. Got nine. 
for the three squares. And after this, what? Yes. Soon. And then what is the total that you guys got for this? Yes. 21. And that is for f of 3. Now for f of 5, we want to substitute this in. And what did you guys get for this? this. Yes. this step, which operation are we going to perform? Exactly. So we get f of 5 is equal to 2 times 25, which is 50. And we want to carry, we want to still add our 3, which gives us a total of 53. So our range for the second problem would be which three values? Correct, 521 and 53. And now, we're going to go over the homework from last night. Any questions on any of the homework problems that you guys were assigned last night? Okay. Is given an equation to use, how you got the numbers in the table? Yes? Um, 
the equation was f of w equals 10w, subtract w to the second power. So number 17 has to make a table of the values. So when you plug in one, well, let's see. Anyone pick a value? We'll see. We'll see if the table is right. Yeah. Four. Okay. So four is gonna be. We're gonna sub in for W, correct? So. us with 10 times 4, which is what numbers to use in your table because they can give you what numbers to use so how do you decide okay okay so you stuck to what I'm hearing you say is you started with one because you can't have zero for a side and you stopped before 10, right, because 10 would make it zero. Yeah. It would max this out, okay? You wanna add? Um, well, what I did was I knew that W had to be had to be a whole number, and then I used the, the fact that it can't be zero, so you can't go below one or above one. Why did you know it had to be a whole number? Because it says assume that W is a whole number, and then it, yeah, it says assume that W is a whole number. All right, so then you had trouble making the table. Do you see how I get the numbers now? Why didn't we connect the points? You guys look like 50 million questions. Because um, if you had connected the point on like um, on the x-axis where there wasn't a number, if you went straight up, that meant um, if you draw if you drew the line down, that there was a point there. Okay. You want to add to that or say something different? Why didn't we connect? Come on. Data, right? Because if we connect it, we're telling. 
telling everybody there's numbers in between and the directions clearly said there were not. problem or real world problem? No. Any restrictions that you know about? Any other questions? 